Oh. Okay, so this place is still weird, but we're gonna go into the Whee! terrace. Hello everyone, I'm Pepper580, welcome back for more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we discovered this place and helped them get a grand star and stuff and stuff. So welcome, this dump acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. When this Luma transforms into a pole star, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your at the pole star and press A. Or I should have stopped there because that's a symbol. Uh, okay there, so this is a pole star and we aim and press. Uh, excuse me, these are the galaxies that can be observed from the dome. Oh, they're like stars. The number of represents their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the farther you will be able to travel. It doesn't really represent distance, it represents the number of power stars you need to get to them. But okay, we discovered our first galaxy. This is play Good Egg Galaxy. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I must warn you that evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. Okay then, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter that it is it may be dangerous. I'm Mario. I'm a Mario. I face dangerous trouble for breakfast. Before breakfast. Line up piranha. Well, we're off to a really good start, aren't we? We are all, we're already going to piranhas and dinosaurs in the first freaking mission. Okay then, so... Yes, you can actually pull in before you actually get there. Welcome to the galaxy! Now, uh, something I didn't actually explain very much last episode... Um, you can actually stun enemies... Well, yeah, they're trying to hit me. You can actually stun enemies with the star bits, and it just it works just as well as a spin. But a spin is actually stronger because you can actually just destroy them. Um, something else that I did not explain is that you can actually triple jump in this game as well as in previous Mario games, such as to do that. Let me just get in here and show you one little secret, something you will be seeing in these games for a long, long time. And yes, I'm just getting away from the place that we should be going because you were supposed to get here from that that there pipe just listen okay I made an anthem on myself there yeah and that is you wanna yes and let me just try to get it, try to get it, try to get it. You're a stupid one up. You went into the wall when trying to escape from me, but you didn't. You didn't escape. So we got a 19 of those. Oh, trust me, we will be looking for quite a few star bits throughout this whole adventure. So, um, let me just go into the mission itself. Diner Piranha is all this way, and let me just say, I don't like this at all, because they made you talk and suicide, so I'm just gonna save a life there. I saved a life, and now uh, I'm coming over here. So, hello there little guy, again. If you get hurt, grab coins to patch yourself up. No thanks. Okay then, oh god, yep. Actually, a lot of people don't actually seem to know this uh, at first, but you can actually destroy these rocks. Oh my god, but not like this, not like this. You have to spin when the right, uh, when the red little path is uh, facing you. That's when you destroy them, you get a ton of star bits. Oh my god, no! Well, distance is not my best. I I, sh I, I don't even know. But you see, uh, there's mud in there, you'll get stuck, blah blah blah, and oh, I could have broken any of those. Any anyway, so we got all five star, uh, star chips. I already showed off that I can actually destroy this. Are we really gonna start off with the Let's Play Curse? Really? Really? Because I got mad skills for this game. I got mad skills. Just let me tell you. Okay, we get introduced to a new thing in the Mario universe, uh, apart from those enemies that I don't really know the names of. Those secret uh, surprise coins and stuff. Oh, by the way, these guys are called Octogoombas, or Octumbas, I don't really know. I don't really see a difference in them. And you can climb through these mines by doing that. Oh, God. Now let me do this, you actually saw me die from this in a trailer. Um, but <laughs> really, it just miscalculations on my part, I, and I didn't spin uh, because I was stupid. Anyways, you come over here and we have more switches like those of the thing, even though these are backwards because we want to activate something instead of deactivating it. 
So, thank you very much. Be careful with those spikes, please. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Okay, first death in the in the project. First death in the project by stupidness. Um. Okay, you already saw that. You only have to do that. You would skip this planet. It's a planet for a planet, and yeah, that's it. But um, I was stupid and I didn't do it. So let me just yeah, let me destroy that. And now let me come over here because this is where you are supposed to go. And now you're supposed to destroy this freaking giant piranha. You could do it like that, or you could... Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, oh my god. You you can destroy it by flipping one of these at it, or be careful with that, or by pounding it. And with that you get a bunch of star bits and a vine. And I already showed off how you can climb a vine by shaking the controller. And you get here, hello there, freaking... Hello there. And you see a bag, kick it! You get a lot of star bits. Um, star bits do have a use for levels and stuff apart from stunning enemies. Um, so yeah, just let me come over here. Yeah, well, I'm pretty much ignoring all Octagoombas and stuff because they're not, you're not really required to defeat any enemies. It's just the same as in Super Mario 64 and in, uh, well, pretty much any other Mario game except for the RPGs. And hello there, Mr. Egg with a tail. Uh, what's that? You want me to hit your your tail? Okay, I'll do it. Bam! And hello there, premature piranha plant. That's why you're a dino. Okay then, so just hit its tail a little bit. This takes me just 10 in-game seconds. And I can count them, like, really. There's Later on, you'll be counting them. Hello there. Are you mad? You mad? You mad? Oh, wow. Well, he throwed me into a freaking coin, so that didn't do anything. And he dies for the lack of petals in its head. Well, you were ugly anyways, so... <laughs> uh, I'm kidding, guys. Uh, ugly people does not... Uh, does not. Ugly people do not deserve to die just because of the fact that they're ugly. Not to say that anyone is ugly. I, I mean, everyone has their own way of being beautiful and stuff. I should just shut up right now because I'm contradicting myself so much and I do really believe everyone is beautiful in their own way but um, people are just gonna get mad at me. So Dino Brand, a good at Galaxy, two coins, a lot of star bits. Yes please, I would like to save. Da -da -dee -dee. Yep. Ah, what are you gonna say now? Those star bits are star bits. Tulumas are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your blah blah point blah blah. And once you have, shoot them with aiming with ah uh, and pressing ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, he's gonna give me some. Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some. Hey, you're tricking me because you're hungry and you want to be fat. This that is a ticket. Yum, delicious. Twice, and there you go. Hmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Starbits will be a big help on your adventure. He just said a big key word. Hungry Luma. So we're gonna go back into Gouda Galaxy after all those introductory things. And now I'm just gonna jump right into the mission, really. Um, I don't really need to go into the same things all over again for you guys, so Snack of Sco uh, Cosmic Proportions is gonna be our way. A snack of Cosmic Proportions. Like, uh, there's, there's a lot of things that you really don't need to do in this game, and they come with kind of an exploration, which is something I like in this game, pretty much. Uh, you can explore them in any way you like, and you can still get them, but for now, as, as though as we... Well, as I said that we I was going to jump into missions and even though this doesn't really look like it Excuse me. Thank you uh, What I'm doing is pretty much jumping into the mission because we need 100 of these little guys. Oh my god Computer screen doesn't let me play while I'm watching it So I have to turn into my to see my TV screen. Yeah, because we need a hundred of these little star bits and this time instead of going right we're going through the castle like bridge Yep, hello there, Luma. Oh, get this, you can shoot, blah, blah, just aim, blah, and to charge and fire with blah, run into your enemies while they were stunned to finish them off. Even though I don't want to do that, I'd rather just do this. 
and my pointer is going to be my main trouble throughout this LP, I'm, I'm thinking. Hello there, little guy. I got a hungry friend up ahead. You don't mind sharing your snacks, do you? Suicide! He suicided and got us four freaking different stars. Full stars, that is. So... We got to a giant pair. Hello there, pair. <laughs> this place is weird. Why am I here? Anyways, um, killing Goombas this way earns you star bits. If you jump into them, it will earn you coins. Um, that's pretty much the basic stuff. Uh, and that goes for pretty much any enemy that has this kind of uh, thing that you can actually stun. If you can stun it, just uh, run, uh, if you can stun it, run into it while it's stunned, and you will earn star bits. If you cannot stun him, uh, then you will get a coin. Pretty much. Come on, my aiming. As I said, I'm horrible at aiming. Oh god, no, 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 no. And that is gonna be a problem too, because these things only earn you three freaking star bits, and you see my problem now. Freaking. Go the right way! Thank you. Uh, you can see my problem now because I am going to game it through this game a lot. And that's just, that's, that problem is just with my position pretty much, but I don't have that problem with playing normally. Oh my god, there's more of these, because you need a hundred of these and really, who is going to have a hundred little pieces of sugar? Even though these are supposed to be, um, stars, pieces of stars, oh my god. There you go. My aiming will get better with time, guys. Don't worry about that. There you go. Wahoo! And you can shake the controller midway to go through this one, but I'm not skipping that one because 81 is pretty close to 100, and I really want to finish this off as quick as possible. So, get more of these. And we got our little rock friends over here. So, what do you say? Oh my god. Uh. Okay, what the? You know what? I'm just gonna come over here because. Question mark blocks can also hold star bits. And I'm pretty sure this will, yeah, there you go, 100. Each 100, was it 100 or was it 50? I think it's 50, every 50 star bits you'll get a life. So now we're going to a giant Joshi egg. And that is actually where our mission takes place because there is the Hungry Luma. And yes, I just spoil it. Hey you, yeah, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with tacky happiness and suicide. I'm famished, I need a hundred star bits to curb the hunger pain. Okay, or page. And as we need it to suicide, we are going to make it feed as if it was a farm animal that was going to get killed for food. One more. That's it, I'm stuffed, here we go. Suicide! <laughs> and it goes into the nothingness. Giving us a guy with hats, and I think this this pretty much this here planet over here that just appeared, I think that was kind of reused for Super Mario Galaxy 2. And yes, I'm just going to acknowledge that there is a sequel to this game, and I'm not going to go into the debate of which one I like better because I know you people are going to be crazy and say no, this one's not better. This is the other one. You know, everyone has their opinions, I'm gonna respect that, but um, I don't really want to go into that debate, really. So we come over here and we're into a giant capsule thing. Let me get some star bits. Being blank just does not make me feel comfortable. Now we come over here and there's the hole, and now we get to gravity puzzles. Um, you could go all the way over there, but you can skip it all by just coming over here. Uh, there's one up there that I don't really want. And coming all the way over here, really, uh, I'm already before or after the time limit, or maybe not. No, actually, we still have two minutes left. And by coming over here, we get, we get to this place where you would have to look for all the ch the blue chips. But long jump over here and spin, and there you go. There's a star. I love it. I I just love it. Okay then. Uh. I don't know, should I do another star? Because where? I only have two minutes left, but uh, two stars a video is not really what I want to go for. Uh, yep, and we discovered a new galaxy, which is another main galaxy. There's, there's three different kinds of galaxies. Main galaxies, 
Little galaxies and boss galaxies. Um, collecting power stars will expand our range of vision, perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Yep, the enemy bases are the galaxies that I was just talking about. You know what? Um, yeah, this was a little bit of a slow episode, but uh, that's because of all the explaining I had to, I had to do, all the text and stuff. So that is going to be everything for the episode, guys. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, rate, and I'll see you guys the next time we get more stars in here in the terrace and try to discover more galaxies. See you guys later.